Port Huron. So even on the east side, uh, we're getting some milder numbers. Gross Hill, one of the cool spots at 71. And the satellite image has some really high, thin clouds that are overhead, at least here in Detroit. But there's a lot of the southern end of Michigan that's getting a decent amount of sunshine, full sunshine. And we expect even the clouds over Detroit will start fading out as we get into the evening hours and overnight tonight. So here's how tomorrow's going to play out. No problems tonight. Even that round of storms that's going to fire northern lower Michigan is going to miss us overnight. So we'll wake up to breakfast, dry conditions. First half of tomorrow looks fantastic. But once we get into the afternoon, heat, humidity start to build. That instability is going to be fueling not only thunderstorms, but potentially severe weather. And you see that line. And unfortunately, that's sitting right over Detroit and Belle Isle at 3 o'clock. And, of course, we've got race one of the duel in Detroit at that time. So it is going to be a very close call with those storms. Once that line passes through, we're going to be looking for a second line. That's going to end about 6 o'clock, maybe 7 in the south zone. Then we start looking at 11 o'clock, and that line comes through. There's still some question as to whether or not there will be ingredients left to fuel a potential severe threat there. But nevertheless, do expect downpours, lightning, and also some rumbles of thunder also. But once we get into Sunday, no problems except for the temperatures. A little bit cooler than what we would typically see for this time of year. So there's the severe risk for tomorrow. Everybody in the area under a marginal risk. And that is for pretty much the afternoon and evening hours, but primarily that early afternoon period that we showed you on the map. So let's look at tonight's forecast. Lows are going to be in the 60s. We will see any clouds take off, mostly clear skies by the time we wake up tomorrow morning. We'll be into the mid-70s by noon on Saturday, but it's those thunderstorms that are moving in in the afternoon that has us concerned. 80 degrees is going to be the high and a southwest wind at 10 to 15. There are the cooler highs on Sunday at 68, and then we slowly work our way back towards 80 next week. In fact, most of next week looks fantastic, except for just that one shot of showers on Wednesday.